everyone, welcome back to Crafting with Janine. Today's video is going to be a little bit different than my normal because I am on the computer today and I'm going to show you guys how to print your own bottle cap images using Windows. I do not know how Mac works or Apple computers, so sorry if you have one of those, but I'm going to show you how to do it on Windows 10. If you still have Windows 7, it's a whole lot easier, but Windows 10 changed some things up. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how I figured out and how I like to do that when I want to print my bottle cap images at home. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and open up my folder with my bottle cap images in it. I keep mine all saved in one spot. And then I label them in various different folders and then I have like ones that don't really have a home. I just randomly put them somewhere. So, I'm just going to pick random image, and I'm going to show you. So, I'll pick these happy faces, or emojis, whichever one. So, if you double click on your image, it's going to pop up this, and yes, you can print from here, but here's where you waste paper. So, if you want to do it this way, you go to print, and then it wants to show it like this. I already have mine set, and it's set to a 4x6, but it wants to place it in the middle of the screen. So, and that wastes a whole piece of paper because you can't move it. It wants to put it there. So how I do that is, instead of doing it this way, is I find my image and I right click on it and it brings up this dialog box and then I go to print from here and then it brings up this box, which is what you want to see. And it starts off like this with, your, with it as a full page. And then you can pick your various different sized image. So bottle cap images, we want them to be a four by six size. So I click on that and it automatically puts it to one side of the page which leaves me open to print off another one. So if you just need to do one you can do it this way and then just trim off your paper you still have the other half of the paper. I'm going to show you how to do two at the same time just for time savers. So we're going to cancel this so I'm going to leave that one and then I'm going to hold down control on my keyboard and I'm going to find another image which I will just pick this one. So now that both of them are highlighted blue, I can right click on either one of them, go to print again, and it'll show like this, but when I go to click four by six, now I have both of my sheets on one page and it'll print it out. I use an inkjet printer. It should be the same for laser printers or inkjet printers. And it'll print this way and it prints them in a four by six size and you get your perfect one inch size bottle cap images for your bottle caps for your bows or badge reels keychains whatever you do with them but this way so you want to make sure that up here you are set to photo paper I leave mine at matte because the way it prints it doesn't kick out saturate it with so much ink like if you were to do glossy it will put like a whole bunch of ink and then you got to be very careful because right off the bat it'll smudge so with matte, it tends to dry a little faster because it doesn't saturate with so much ink, but you still get very vibrant images that way. So I leave mine there, and then I hit print, and it sends it through my printer. I can't show you it actually printing because the way I'm recording the video today, but it prints it out, and you see me pull out my images and cut them and put them on the bows and that type of stuff. So... This is how you can easily print your own bottle cap images at home. This is great, especially if you only want one or two sheets and you don't need to do a whole bunch. I recommend if you're going to want to print off a whole bunch that you either go through Shutterfly. Yeah, it's Shutterfly. Yes, Shutterfly. Sorry, I got a little twisted in my brain. Shutterfly is really good and they're relatively cheap and then it'll store your images in there so you can go back and reprint if you want. Walmart tends to say that some images, like say these John Deere ones or some of your princess images and stuff like that, and this type of stuff is copyrighted so they won't print them even though they were made and we, all that, we're not copyright infringement just by printing our own caps, but so Shutterfly is a really good one to print from. If I'm going to do a lot, I print through them. I can leave a link for Shutterfly in the description below if you have it. If you don't know about it already, it's a really good photo printing app, and they they come relatively quickly when you order them, and great quality photos as well. So, 
on that i hope this video was helpful to you guys that wanted to know how to print your own caps and don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already hit the little bell icon to see when i upload because i am not the most regimented uploader and i could upload on a monday or a tuesday i might go a week or two be without uploading and it might be some time so if you had the bell notification you would know when i upload a new video and i am also going to be putting a link to my facebook group in the description below with an amazing group of people in the group we have two amazing ladies miss kim and miss tammy they both uh make design the bottle cap images for free and post them in the group they're in the photos you just go there you save whatever image you like these ladies do it on their own in their own time and for free and we love them for it because it's so great and i will also be putting a link to my paypal link if you wanted to donate money to help me keep my channel going and all that and uh that that is about it again don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe and as always happy crafting